When my Twitter followers are high, my self-esteem is too. People will post pictures all like, hashtag not my best, hashtag I look ratchet today, hashtag horse face. Do you realize in the past year the word selfie has like exploded? When people want to take a picture, it's no longer, hey, can I get a photo? It's turned into, oh my god, selfie, let's take a selfie. Ugh, what happened to us? What has happened to us? Anyway, that is my new social media introduction, and I wanted to go over something that I'm seeing that I think we can do, that I think we should do a different way. Um, and so this was Heidi, Heidi posted her, and many of us do this, um, post our listing, and we use postlets to throw it up on Facebook. And I am going to suggest that you don't use postlets to throw it up on Facebook, and I'm going to show you why. Um, no. Actually, here, let me go to Facebook and find that post. And so you're, you're wanting people to come, you know, get more information about your property. Well, here's what happens. They come here and let's, and they look at it and, and if that's all that they're doing and you know, maybe eight out of 10 or seven out of 10 or who knows, I don't know what percent, but maybe many of the times this is fine because they're getting what they want to see. Um, they're going through the pictures, they get a neighborhood description but they don't get much more than that. And let's say they go through all the photos and they're going through and then they get to this. Not the perfect place. Check out other homes for sale we think you might like. And they click on it. And now all we've done is sent them to Zillow that's not branded your Zillow. It's branded Zillow in general. And then what are they going to do. Then they're going to maybe search around and find a house that they like. And um, I don't know. I think we're only, you know, they're going to look around. But anyway, they're no longer with us. So maybe they're in some other place looking for properties and that doesn't really there's I, I just don't think there's much of a chance that we're going to capture them so what if instead of posting it in this way what if we went to our own website so in this case Heidi and we put in the MLS number and we hit search and now we get a branded page with our listing that has all of our details and we post this page to Zillow or to uh, Facebook. Now all of a sudden we have our self branded here. We give the person who's there the opportunity to maybe go to a property search. If they don't, if this house isn't what they're looking for, if this isn't what they want. Um, also look, this one even let, it tells them more information that it's open today. Um, there's a work with me tab. There's a lot more call to actions that come directly to you. And frankly, this is a better uh, system anyway, because look at all the things your client. I mean, maybe they want schools and neighborhood information. Um, they can get all of that as well. And hey, hey, here's nearby homes for sale. And you know what's awesome about these? If you click on a nearby home for sale, you, you are the person who's going to get the information. It's not going to go to the guy who's paying Zillow to be the, the first person in Zillow. So if I were you, I would no longer use post. I, you know, definitely use post, post list is good for what it is. It, it's a aggregator. It gets, it dis, it distributes you to many places. But if you have the choice of putting a link somewhere, if you're going to tweet it, if you're going to put it in Facebook, if you're going to do something with it um, that is beyond, that you have control over, I would definitely use this. And um, 
you can even come to this page. Um, no, come to this page and hit on the Facebook link button, and it'll send it to Facebook for you. Um, or you can grab this link, right? This is the link that you want. So I'm just going to hit Control C, and if I wanted to, I could then come to my own Facebook page and put in the the link, and then it'll do a you know do the fancy little thing, and I can choose which photo I want to be the photo in the picture. Um, I'll go with that first one. And then I can move that down in the thing and I can say, check out the cool house or whatever you want to say, and then hit post. And now when you do that, you are sending people to a place that you have control over. Um, and so a question is, will Katie do this uh, for us, our program? Absolutely. If we've been, um, if we've been, uh, posting via postlets. I just happened to notice this because Heather posted um, posted um, Heidi's link, Heidi's postlet link onto her Facebook and then and then I was thinking, well, it's interesting. So I would also say to someone like Heather, if you are posting it to your Facebook, as much as we all love Heidi, um, if I were you, though, I would go, Heather, and grab my link. So I would go to realliving.com forward slash kioki.mccarthy, and in your case, heather.erickson, and put in the MLS number so that when I go 7634474 and I hit search, I would, uh, did I hit search? How do I hit, how do I hit search? That's funny. All right. My enter but button's not working. Um, I would come and put in that, that, uh, that MLS number. And now when I pull this property up it's actually me and it's my website and if I put this on my I take this link up here and I go to my Facebook and I s reload this page I can put my link in there and then in s and then the, then I'm advertising myself so um, Depending, like a lot of times I put your links in, uh, like if just, you know, just because I, as the designated broker, half the time I'm advertising you anyway. But um, but for you guys, I would definitely say you should put in um, your own link. So we can, you can get a link to any home by doing that. Just take the MLS number, put it into yourrealliving.com. Um, and then it becomes a link that you have and you can send it to your clients. Now we, you know, most, I think everybody in our office would say, absolutely. You know, we, we can all, you know, you can share, you can share their listings. Um, but remember, don't, don't go willy nilly. Don't go grab a, a listing that you think looks cool from some other brokerage and post it to Facebook because technically that could be, uh, breaking the the rules um hold on let me make sure uh so will katie do this yes yay i just did a share does it make a difference um who what do you mean by i just did a share does it make a difference uh do we need to have permission to share our so if anybody doesn't feel comfortable with the other people in the office um, sharing listings, let me know. Because I've asked that before, and always everybody has been. I, I, I can't imagine we have that. But um, if we do, let me know. Um, so that was my next. Oh, that was my next question. So yeah, uh, 
as of right now, you're, feel free to share listings within the office because um, I don't think anyone minds. Um, but be careful when you're dealing with Northwest MLS. Uh, please share my listings. Yeah, there you go. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see. I can't imagine very many. Mine too. I can't imagine very many uh, people would not think that way. Um, and so, absolutely. Um, any other questions about best uh, best practices? Because I have one other thing I wanted to say about um, Facebook and how it works and that is be careful of what you like and i've sa i've said this before but i still see it once in a while on my news feed now this one's not such a big deal so this popped up today and it's fine zillow for, zillow for pros you're actually i bet this only shows up on other real estate agent sites so it's not such a big deal but if you like a competitor and even though, and, and I'm going to even say, be, you even need to probably be a little careful, even if they're not a competitor. Maybe they're a friend. Maybe it's even someone in our office. I hate to say this, but it's possible that if you like another agent in the office's um, business page, there they it could end up like this on your facebook page now I, I, again i don't think that within the office is going to be such a big deal and most of us kind of have our own little niches and and whatever but you do have to understand that whatever you like should they choose to advertise they advertise on your friend's page with you looking like you endorse it so picture i know because you know what i I try to stay away from liking Zillow stuff. I'm a little anti-Zillow right now. So I don't recall saying I like this. Yeah, well, it's funny. You can like it. Well, so that's even a funnier thing because I don't think that I pushed I like that. Well, you, showing up. You probably did, but it could be years ago. You like a page three years ago. And let me just even wow. this scenario. Let's say you liked um, Sally Smith from Listing Real Estate. And, she, and you liked her because she's a friend of yours and you liked it three years ago. You liked her page three years ago. If today she decided to do an ad, it would say Stephanie McCarthy and then it would say Sally Real Estate. I am uh, offering, I sell homes for $500 and I give you a free car. And all of a sudden your and what happens is it it lands on all of your Facebook friends' website as looking like Jen Nilsson or Stephanie McCarthy likes this person who is offering free cars to all their clients. And now your client is looking on your Facebook page and sees this, and you could literally be driving people out of your Facebook page into your competitor's Facebook page. So really think about who you like. Liking, liking this whole like thing, the way that uh, uh, Facebook works it by putting this, this little, almost like an endorsement, it is really a, a, a weird thing. And so um, I just want everybody to sort of think about who they like uh, twice because if you do, and, and even other things, sometimes you think, oh, I like that, and maybe they had a good post, and the post gave you an option to like the post and like their page, and you just kind of did them both because you thought, oh, that, that makes so much sense. You may not even, and that might have been what happened to you, Stephanie, you may not even have known you were doing this, and now for the, for the rest of your life until you unlike them, they will... <laughs> they will show up on your friend's feed as, with your name on top of it. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. So, I haven't looked at my, any other questions. My. Well, in, in Zillow, I don't know if you guys read the in and alert, but it's kind of interesting that, you know, they bought uh, Trulia. And now there's all this information coming out that they actually were, they found all sorts of confidential information before they pulled this deal together. 
and they were being sneaky and they researched all this information and, and captured all of their information before the deal came together and so now there's big red flags everywhere about this, this big Trulia and Zillow merger because Zillow is looking a little shady. So kind of interesting. So my red flag's up and I'm trying not to like the little stuff right now. But they have some good information too. Anyway. Yeah. As I digress. Absolutely. Okay. So that is all for today on social media. Um, we have one last segment to go. It's got to be real. 